Hi and welcome back to Incubators Africa. In today's training video, we'll be explaining you the blue unit of the 180 egg roller. Now, in this 180, it's a roller. So when you plug it in to switch it on, it's going to have quite a few unique um, features. So you can set it for uh, geese, ducks, pheasants, doves, chickens. But we'll uh, set, show you step by step. So first you want to set your settings for let's say you want to do chicken so what you'll need to do is over here on mode you want to set it to chickens there's chickens there's ducks there's geese there's doves and pheasants but for this purpose of the training video we'll be doing chickens for our ones so you'll leave it on chicken so on your temperature, you can set the temperature to one to one by pushing set once. Now it's on 37.3, so you can use plus or minus to bring it down to 37.5. Once you have it there, press set once again. Now we're on humidity, so we want it about 60, which is perfect because it's on 60. So click set again. So over here is your temperature reading, so it will tell you what your temperature is reading over here. Because right now it's showing at uh, 117.3 as this will um, go up and down on its own because you want that at 37.5 so the machine will increase or decrease it as needed now for humidity uh, to keep humidity high you'll have a, a bottle of 150 moles where you have three uh, points at the bottom that you're going to top up of 20 moles each or 30 moles each you don't have to be too exact but you want to add a little bit into each one to get your humidity to stay within the 55 to 70%. Now, these are your uh, temperatures and humidity uh, sets that you've set it to. So if it goes below that, it will trigger an alarm to let you know that you need to add or subtract. And it also, it will give you a countdown a count so you can count your days to see how many days you're on as well. As, as we'll give you over here, it has a time. So it kind of just gives you the timing as well for the trays because um, the trays will turn every one to two hours as it will time it's here for you. Now, with this unit, um, to load your eggs and to offload your eggs, what you'll need to do for loading the, your eggs, let's take this part. So over here, we have each level will be the same, your rollers. The elastic band is just for packaging, which you can always take off. So you'll be placing your eggs point to point within your rollers, because your motor will connect to the next level, which will connect to the next one, which I'll show you now. But you'll be placing your eggs side by side, and you'll let those eggs roll for 18 days. When it comes to day 18, what you will need to do is disconnect uh, each level so you can take out all your, your trays and leave in your hatching basket, which is going to be your grid, which is this piece here. You'll be leaving them in each layer. So once your base is connected, your next step would be to place your hatching, your eggs at the bottom so they can hatch and then you'll start with the next level, placing them as such. And then what you'll do from there is at your next level, place your eggs on the floor and keep repeating your cycle. Once you finish with your cycle, you'll plug in your, um, your lid in again to switch the unit back on so your humidity and your temperature can stay within so your chicks can start hatching from day 21. As soon as your chicks have hatched within the unit, so you can see that through your fronts, you'll be taking those chicks out to place them in, into a brooder. 
But the nice thing is with these specific units, um, if you have like, let's say you get a power cut or um, load shedding has now occurred. So for example, let's just reconnect our top piece. On the front, if a load chain occurs, what you will need to do is disconnect your mains, plug in your 12 watt cable, and then connect it to a battery, but you can leave it next to it, or on the, not really ideal on top, so you want to have it on the side, and in that way your machine will still operate if uh, you have a power cut or a power failure. Now the other trick to increase your humidity or decrease your humidity is on your lid you have an air vent. Now that air vent you can adjust your humidity throughout your machine because the more you have it open the more humidity you're releasing the more that, that it's closed the more you're keeping humidity in. So it does come with the manual as well but you can always go through your unit. But the 12 egg group, uh, the 180 egg units work very well in terms of doing for any species because you can set it for a species you want and they clips in very nicely. But the nice thing is you can set your temperatures and all that but if you find this training video very helpful please do subscribe and like and leave a comment below and we'll see you in the next video.